Gugging, Wikipedia Audio The Maria Gugging Psychiatric Clinic, known as Gugging, is a psychiatric institution located on the outskirts of Vienna, Austria. Several of its patients became known for their outsider art, and were referred to as the Gugging Artists. Today, the artist-slash-patients live in a dedicated art therapy center at Gugging, known as the Art-slash-Brute Center Gugging. In stark contrast, Gugging has a darkened history during the time of the Nazi regime, when hundreds of mental patients were murdered or abused as part of the Nazi regime euthanasia program. In the late 1950s, psychiatrist Leo Navradil, of the Maria Gugging Psychiatric Clinic, had his patients produce drawings for diagnostic purposes. The following year he discovered artistically talented individuals in his ward, a finding that was confirmed by Jean Dubuffet, the French artist who coined the term art brute. Navradil's first book Schizophrenie und Kunst was published in 1965. Attracted to the clinic by this work, many Viennese artists visited Gugging. In 1970 the first exhibition of the Gugging Artists took place in a Vienna gallery. Thereafter, the Gugging Artists were frequently presented in galleries and museums. The Center for Art and Psychotherapy was founded by Navradil in 1981. He invited artistically talented patients to live in the house which serves as living space, studio, gallery, and meeting place. With the founder's retirement in 1986, Johann Fielacher became his successor. Fielacher stressed the role that art played at Gugging and went on to change its name to the House of Artists. Within Europe, the House of Artists is regarded as a model for psychiatric reforms based on art therapy as a means to reintegrate clients into society. The Gugging Artists Presently, a cultural center is located next to the House of Artists. It is known as the Art Slash Brute Center, and consists of a museum, a gallery, and a public studio. The museum contains the works of the Gugging Artists, and also hosts traveling art brute exhibitions, which include artists such as Martin Ramirez and Adolf Wolfley. The museum building also hosts a public studio that is open to all, but is mainly used by individuals who have undergone or are receiving psychiatric treatment. Together the museum, the gallery, the House of Artists and the Public Studio, are known as the Art Slash Brute Center Gugging. In early 1994 David Bowie and Brian Eno visited the Gugging Psychiatric Hospital to interview and photograph the celebrated artist patients famous for their outsider art. Artistic materials favored by the Gugging's residents had a powerful influence on production strategies in the studio during the Bowie-slash-Eno collaboration. In March 1994 a three-hour piece further inspired the process of the 1995 concept album Outside. Historian Herwig Czech told the Austrian press agency that Gugging was the scene of some of the most barbarous medical crimes committed in Austria during the Nazi regime. Approximately 400 patients were killed by Dr. Emil Gelny by poisoning and electric shock. Rudolf Lohnauer was the attending doctor for 112 deaths and typically murdered his patients, mainly women, with an overdose of drugs. Patients also died from lethal injection, malnutrition, and infectious diseases. New research has also shown that between November 1940 and May 1941 a total of 675 people were taken from the clinic to the euthanasia center at Hartheim Castle near Linz, where they were gassed. Of these, 116 were children and teenagers between the ages of 4 and 17. By 1940, rumors of euthanasia at Hartheim began to spread. 
Anna Waddle, a nurse and the mother of a disabled child living at Gugging, attempted to save the life of her son by petitioning against his relocation to Hartheim. She was assured that he would not go to Hartheim, but was instead taken to another children's institution, M. Spiegelgrund, where he died soon after he arrived. House of Artists In Popular Culture History During the Nazi Regime